Hi, Sam from iFootage here. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how to use our Shark Slider Nano. Now, before we power the Nano on, there's a few things you need to check first. First of all, we need to check the carriage lock. Now, your lock will either be unlocked or locked, like it is here. Obviously, if we're using the slider, we want it unlocked. This prevents from any wear to the motors, especially when you turn on the slider. Now, the next thing we want to do is check the carriage tightness. In order to do so, you first of all want to move the carriage to the left hand side of your slider. So just here where the screen is on the left. You then want to wiggle it. If there's any visible wobble, you then want to go to our carriage tightness adjustments, which are just here and either pull up to strengthen it to make sure that it's more attached or go down to weaken it. Once you've done that, you then need to move it to the right. And once again, move the carriage, double check if it's still loose or it's all nice and tight if it's still loose obviously once again go and tighten it now if you're mounting your slider to a tripod you'll want to check that the carriage on the bottom as well is nice and tight onto the slider for example here i'm going to use one of our smaller mini tripods to mount the slider on top so now that your slider is on your tripod you then want to once again keep the bottom carriage just here to the left check if it's loose just wobble the slider see if there's any heavy wobble obviously your tripod's going to move but just check if there's any actual wobble within the slider itself if there's not you don't have to worry if there is there's two little adjustments just here obviously you want to increase just like on the top now once you've done the left side you want to move the slider to the right side then once again give it a wobble if there's any sort of movement you'll obviously want to adjust it to counter it now, when it comes to attaching your camera onto the slider, you can either just take your camera and put it straight on the base plate here, as it also features a quarter inch thread and a free eight. However, we do recommend using a standard video head, just like our Komodo K5 here. If you are using a ball head, please make sure that the center of gravity is centered and you've worked out the equal balance for your weight distribution of your camera, because if it's slightly off, it can cause some jitters and make the image look a bit shaky. To put your video head on the slider, simply push in this lock button here, put the head on and twist. Just like so. And now your video head is on the slider. Make sure that it's all level. So it's nice and straight, just like so. There we go. And also just keep the head pointing straight at all times. Now, the next thing you want to do is find the center of balance of your camera. Using the quick release plate here, you simply have to take a pen. To find the center of balance, all you need is a pen and your quick release plate. Hover it over the pen, put it on. You basically want to find the center point by moving it across until you feel like there's an equal balance between the two. Obviously, just watch your hands and make sure that you're not gonna let the camera drop. So my center of balance is about there and you need to memorize the number on the quick release plate, which is about 22 for me. So now that that's sorted, we'll go and put the pen away and bring our slider back here. We want to take our camera and just simply slide it on. Obviously making sure that our center point is lined up on, on the video head itself. And then just lock it back in. So now we've got the camera on our slider. Please also make sure that the track is clear of any dust or debris. Obviously this will cause more shake and possibly damage the slider itself. We also recommend using a blower just to help remove the dust from the slider. Now the Shark Slider Nano takes Sony MPF batteries. You simply have to take it and plug it in to the side just here and you'll hear it click. Now the next thing you want to do is hold the power button for three seconds. You'll then see the screen come on and the iFootage logo will appear. Now the slider will go through its calibration process. However, in future firmware updates, you'll only ever have to calibrate once. And if you wanted to calibrate again because you feel something slightly off, all you have to do is go to page two in the settings menu on the slider. Now, once the calibration is complete, you'll have the screen prompt come up saying that the camera has to be in a right angle position. So we just want to take the camera and point it straight, just like that and then click the screen on calibrated and you're all set up to go. Now I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a nice A to B movement 
which will loop. So you can use that for your B-roll shots or your B-cam on an interview or even your A-cam for whatever you want to use it for. So we'll simply go and click the two buttons on top, like so. This will then open us into our quick start menu. You'll then want to point your camera in the direction. So say my A point is going this way. So I'm gonna set, set A there. Then we're gonna move the camera to its B point, which say is over here. And we're gonna set B. So now once done, we can then click confirm. This will lock that movement in. Then say you want it to loop, simply click the loop icon here. Then click standby. This will then take the slider back to its A position. From here, you can choose to increase the time. So currently it's set to 15 seconds. However, I maybe want it to go for 20 seconds. So I'm gonna set it to 20 seconds. And like that, it's all set up and it will loop back and forth and the motion will take 20 seconds. So we'll now click start. And now, as you can see, the slider is now moving the camera from its A to B position nice and smoothly. Now, the Nano isn't designed to film macro stuff. However, if you are filming close-up stuff, please make sure to turn on in-body image stabilization or make sure that your lens supports image stabilization itself and has an IS function. Now, as you can see, the Shark Slider Nano is now taking us from A to B nice and smoothly. If you want to stop the movement, simply click exit. And then it'll ask you, sure? Obviously, we're sure, so we'll click sure and now your movement is stopped. Say you just wanted to use the same movement again, all you've got to do is just click standby, it'll take it back to its A point, and then you can click go from there. 